Today I want to talk about DJing events during this global pandemic. This is August 2020 right now and depending on where you live kind of depends on whether or not you can work or not. Some people can't and a lot of people are either postponing or canceling their events so hopefully we have a busy year next year but right now it's just over. Other places there are no social distancing guidelines in place. You can kind of do whatever you want and people are working like they normally would. And then there are the cases like by me where you can do events in some municipalities as long as you follow certain social distancing guidelines. The hall has things they have to do. The people who are at the party have things they have to agree to do like wear masks and not have like too many people in a hall. Like maybe the hall has to be at a 50% capacity or a 25% capacity. I did a gig like that about three weeks ago and it was cool. I mean, the client asked me if I was comfortable with doing the event. All the social distancing guidelines for that municipality were being followed and they understood if I didn't feel comfortable doing it, but I did, you know, as long as everything's safe, let's do it. And I felt very safe. People stayed away from me and they were behaving themselves pretty good. But I've also heard people say that, you know what? I signed up to do this event and they said they were going to practice all these social distancing guidelines but once the alcohol started flowing all bets were off it was a regular party the argument that I've heard from a lot of DJs is what can I do I signed up for the event I told the client I would do it I'm all about the client whatever they want I got to give them if they want a big party they're gonna have a big party what am I gonna do if that's your point of view and that's how you feel do that but let me pitch you an idea here Way back when I was working for a multi-op when I was a teenager, I don't remember what the situation was because it didn't happen to me, but it happened to another DJ or a pair of DJs who were out doing an event. Something went down. I don't know if it was a fight or they were getting a lot of verbal abuse or what it was, but they came back to the office afterward where we all met and they told their story. The boss said, if you ever feel uncomfortable like that, pack it up and leave. Don't even worry about it. If the client has a problem with it, I'll deal with it. And if they need a refund, we'll refund it. But you shouldn't ever have to go through that. Don't ever put yourself through that. And if you ever feel unsafe in an event where you feel like that you're in danger, just leave. Don't even worry about the equipment. Just walk away because nothing's more important than your safety. I'm thinking about that with these events that kind of go off the social distancing guidelines and just become a regular party. If you're cool with that, I mean, do it. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but this dedication to the client and that they're always right, no matter what they want, you have to provide it is ridiculous. Were your client's wishes as important as your family's safety? I mean, they're not. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'll accept an event as long as there are safe guidelines in place where I feel comfortable. But if those guidelines are not being followed, I got to worry about my safety and the safety of my family. And that's just where I'm at on it. Whatever you do is up to you. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I never presume to do that. But that's where I'm at. And I thought I would throw it out there and give you guys something to think about. So anyway, that's it, guys. Have a great day. Be safe. Take care of each other. Practice and enjoy.